In the 6th century, a Buddhist monk came to China. He lived in the Shaolin Temple, where he trained young men in the spiritual and physical rigors of martial arts. He founded the Shaolin School of Kung Fu Fighting, as seen in The Hand of Death. Through the years, circumstances forced the Shaolin disciples to form themselves into many different sects throughout the country. During the Qing dynasty, the Manchus hounded the Shaolin fighters, persecuting them and torturing them to death. Many rebels joined the movement, but this was to prove disastrous, for it also gave the Manchus the opportunity to infiltrate spies in the guise of revolutionaries into the Shaolin temple to gain knowledge of the disciples' famed martial arts, the stork fist, the iron palm, the eagle hand, the charging broadsword, the hand of death. In a valiant move to counter the tyrannical rule of the Manchus, the temple elders trained a youth in the best of Shaolin martial arts. Piling power punches. The rebound kick. The Tiger Club. And the Dragon Sword. The Hand of Death also includes the Continuous Sword, the Baroque Lance. And the Tiger Claw. The Shaolin fighters perfected every facet of Kung Fu so that a man could deal with any type of attack in both armed and unarmed combat. To portray the Shaolin martial arts on screen, Golden Harvest Films called on ace director Wu Yu Shen, top stunt director Hong Ching Pao, starring Tam Do Liang, James Chiang, Chen Yuan Liang, and Yang Wei, who take their filming seriously. Don't miss it. This theater guarantees you a great film. Be sure to see The Hand of Death soon on this screen.